everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're not gonna talk about what to do and where to eat in Vietnam, but instead, we're gonna talk about how to maintain good skin in a tropical country like Vietnam. The reason why I'm doing this video is because I receive a lot of requests from you guys asking me to share my skincare routine as a traveler. And for those of you who don't know me, Hi, my name is Vân, I'm Vietnamese. I lived in the US for seven years as an international student. In 2020, I took a leap of faith to go back home and travel full time. If you follow me from the beginning, you know that I was struggling with the acne a lot. And after a year with full of trial and errors, I finally can be here confidently tell you my journey of how I clear my acne as well as maintaining good skin in a tropical country like Vietnam. Also, it's a summer time. I know that there are a lot of international students coming home. There are a lot of travelers coming to Vietnam. And because of the weather, water, food, air quality, it's gonna be very easy to have breakout and have some skin problems. So I hope this video is helpful for you. So like I said, I had a long time living abroad and I had no skin problems whatsoever even though my skincare routine is very minimal but not until when I went back to Vietnam I realized that my skin started to have some hidden acne around the chin area and you can see that in some of my first videos on YouTube even though I tried to put makeup on to hide those spots but you can still see it very obviously and when I feel it, it feels like Bang da in Vietnamese. Huh? And it just made me very insecure in front of the camera. During that time, I frequently put on makeup to film. That's why my pores were clogged. Even worse than that, I travel outside, so that's why my skin had to adapt to the new environment, new food, the sun, and the air pollution. So that's why my skin was breaking out very, very bad. So that's why I bought a ton of acne products. Hopefully it can cure my acne, but it didn't work. It actually backfired because over time those hidden acnes were not being treated correctly. That's why they were infected and they were spreading out like from my cheek to my chin. So I just freaked out and I looked up on Google. I asked my family members, my friends, everyone that I know where I can get my acne treated. The thing is that there were a lot of information on Google and I'm not even sure if those dermatologists are being certified. And because I was gone for a pretty long time, so I had very few friends and they don't have a problem like me. So Google was my best friend and I found this place online. They got very good review and the doctor was actually working for the National Hospital uh, of Dermatology in Vietnam. And I was like, yes, my lifesaver is here. And I was so happy and I immediately went to see that dermatologist. And after talking to him for five minutes, he gave me a list of medicines, the products that I should use and the mask and the cream that I should put on my face. There are a lot of stuff. And I kind of saw that he gave everyone the same treatment, even though there are many types of acne, such as fungal, bacterial, hormonal acne. But it's because I was very stressed out and very hopeless, so that's why I just wanted to give it a try for three months to see how it turned out. After three months of treatment, my skin had not improved. The hormonal medicine actually caused my mood swing. The skins here actually spread out to my forehead and it leave me dark spots, it leave me scars, and there are more bacterial and infected acne. And during that time, I was very miserable very hopeless and very insecure. I didn't want to meet anyone, I didn't want to go anywhere, and I almost quit YouTube because I didn't feel very confident about my skin. But one day, I saw a YouTube video from a famous beauty blogger in Vietnam, and her name is Ching Pham. She was an international student, she traveled a lot, and she had the same skin problem like I did when I first moved back as well. She shared that she treated her acne at a dermatology clinic called MD Medical. And as a YouTuber, I believe her because if she publicly announced something on the internet with like a million of followers, it needs to be good. So that's why, without a doubt, I ran to that dermatologist and asked him for help. 
The reason why I got very good feeling the first time I visited this place is because everything was very clean. It doesn't look like any rookie and messy and narrow places I visited in the past. Everything was very organized, bright and clean. Also, I noticed that they use a lot of high quality products like Murats or Dr. Spillers, which I already used in the US and they gave me very good result. The second reason why I trust this place was because the doctor actually took time to talk to me. He talked about my routine, my problems, the environment that I just changed to, my diet and everything. After that, he checked my skin, educate me about the roots of the problem and give me the long-term solution so that I don't have to rely on dermatologists too much. He said my skin type is oily combination skin, so it's a perfect environment for bacterial and hormonal acne. So after reviewing and analyzing all the problems that caused my acne, uh, I went to a treatment room. I love the fact that the staff just let me know ahead of time what step they're gonna do next and what's the ingredients or what products they're gonna use on my face. Just very transparent. So the first step is they clean my face, they steam my face so that my pores can be opened up and after that, they just use their hands to pop out all the roots of the acne. And I was very surprised because usually if I visit dermatologists, they usually use a very specific tool, uh, one that is very sharp and one that like a circle so that they can press on my skin and get the pimple out. But then in here, they explain the reason why they use uh, their hands. And of course they wear gloves as well. It's because they don't want to damage my skin area too much. And it's also less painful. After that, they put mask on my face and in the mask, they have green tea ingredients so that it can help my skin less swollen. And the final step is to protect my skin. If I do my skin in a day, they will put sunscreen on my face. If I do it in the late afternoon or at night, they're gonna put a uh, night cream on my face. And I have to say from the third day of doing the treatment, my skin was a lot better. I feel that my face was lighter and all the hidden pimples were gone and my face was less swollen. And after a year of doing the treatment, here is my skin right now. Is it still have some acne here and there when I travel, but it's not as severe as before. And after this, I'm gonna do my uh, scar treatment because the acne is leaving me some uh, dark spot and scars here. So they have that service as well. So yeah, if you're looking for a place to treat your acne or to take care of your skin, I highly recommend MD Medical. And you see a lot of international student beauty bloggers like Ching Fab have recommended him. So yeah, that is my acne journey and now we're gonna move on to the products that I'm using right now as a traveler. As a traveler, I try to keep my skincare steps and products as minimal and simple as possible. So the first step that I do is if I have makeup on, I would remove my makeup thoroughly. Please don't use makeup remover when you don't have makeup on because it's just gonna make your skin very dry and very irritating. So after removing my makeup, I would clean my face with a cleanser and I use La Roche-Posay cleanser. And please, when you wash your face, don't rub on your face or don't wash your face with hot water because it forces your skin to excessively produce is more oil that is not needed and eventually it's gonna make your pore clog. So after having my clean and clear face, I would use a toner to create a good environment so that my skin can absorb the moisturizer and I use La Roche-Posay as well. And after that, I moisturize my skin with Kiehl's and this is Ultra Facial Oil Free Gel Cream from Kiehl's and I really like it because it doesn't leave the stickiness on your skin. Sometimes if my skin too dry, I would like to use Clinique brand. They have very good moisturizer and you should check it out. I'm gonna leave the link below as well. Lastly, I would use eye cream from Clinique and this one is very good. Is Clinique Even Better Eyes and this is a dark circle corrector. Actually, it can help you cure the dark circle here and actually like a concealer as well for you. So it's like two in one. Skincare products only solve the short-term problem. Right now, I'm trying to work on my diet, on my lifestyle. I need to 
go to bed early, stay hydrated, uh, do more exercises, and really take care of myself. I think it's the most important thing if you want to have clear skin. Doesn't matter where you live, in a tropical country like Vietnam or anywhere else, you need to take care of your body and your body will take care of you. So if you have the same problem like me or simply you just want to find a place to take care of your skin, please find trust dermatologist that I recommend in this video. And I hope you have a beautiful skin when you come to Vietnam. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!